It's me. I can see the New York City Zoo. big uh, bonus because you don't see too many stores that are really on the trail like this. We were so lucky to have Minami. So we're still here in New York and we um, are trying for a big day today but we you know we we're leaving Minami's house our trail angel and you know the morning was slow um, and we ended up seeing her and her friend and Mowgli, the pup, up on um, the... Andrew's not, no, it's, uh, anyway. I forget everything out here. <laughs> forget the names of everything. Um, we are trying for a state park. It's got a shelter. Um, Zena's up ahead. We stopped at the Appalachian Trail Market. And now we, we have quite a bit of climbing today. New York is, it's wonderful, but it's, um, you know, a little bit slower climbing, which is fine. And we've got some views, you know, through this side here. But we're just making our way. We'll show you where we end up and anything cool along the way. So, Let's talk about the AT, the trail, again for a minute. <laughs> I just find it so amazing that it is one continuous footpath. And when they say that, like the reality of that once I'm out, now that I'm out here, I just can't even explain because it truly is a continuous footpath. And a lot of it, it doesn't make sense. We will go up 800 feet and then back down six, We'll cut over on the same side of the forest 
and we'll end up back climbing up and down. So that's what we're doing now. And when that happens, usually like, see, he's up there ahead of me and Sam. Oh, back there somewhere, but they're just endless switchbacks. Um, but they do make you strong. It's like hit training. Habits. Wave. Cause small. You're small right there. I gotta climb all the way up there, huh? Finishing our day at Canopus Lake Beach Shelter. There's a shelter over here and a beach. And it's 8 o'clock past our bedtime. But um, we made it on a blue blaze. Remember what I told you about blue blazes? It's usually the, the fun stuff. It's out of your way, but it's usually worth it. And Come to it. I'll show you when we get there. It um, started raining, so we moved our tent down there. I don't know if you can see I'm not there's a This place is really nice. Um, it's a state park. There's uh, breakfast sandwiches that they make here at the grill, but we're going up now. This is, there's a whole bathroom area, so I can actually go to the bathroom. And um, our trail angel, Manami, gave me some um, calamine lotion, so I can try to get this poison out of me to dry it up. Um, yeah. This is real nice. This is the beach shelter over here for through hikers to camp. It's so cute. So this is Shenandoah Mountain, New York. Because we're not in Virginia anymore. So we are at a uh, New York pizza place and they let us camp out back. So we're set up. There's some other campers here. And there's boom, 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 boom. You want to come here. New York, the best. Best owners. See all the cuties in there? They're all in there. So one of our jokes has been that we're on a pizza tour here on the AT because it seems to be the best type of food to get because we're usually in a hurry. We usually 
have to take it somewhere because we don't want to stink up the restaurant, you know. So this pizza tour concludes here in Stormville, New York, Corrado's. Now, let me just tell you, not only are they hiker friendly, they have the best pizza. They're uh, an Italian family, two brothers working, literally they have a pizza shop on one side and then this morning they opened for breakfast at six o'clock. It was a bagel shop. I had a pumpernickel bagel with, <laughs> got some mud here. I had a pumpernickel bagel with grape jelly, which is literally unbelievable. They're not kidding about New York bagels. They're not kidding about New York pizza, which I already knew, but now I found my place. It may be the best pizza I've had in my entire life. Um, we, it was on the, the pizza pan. They brought it out to the yard for us near our tent. Just awesome people. So I was joking with the kid. Well, he's not a kid. The young man, um, Italian. I was like, what's your name anyway, Anthony? He goes, Antonio. Just so funny. It, I didn't even want to leave because these guys were so great. The dad was there early this morning making the sauce, the meatballs, all that stuff. And I just, you know, I think they thought I was Italian at first, um, which I get that a lot, but um, great guys, great place. If you're driving through Stormville, New York, or if you just want the best pizza and you're in that area and you don't want to go into the city, look them up. And I got to come back. Uh, yeah. Oh, it is so beautiful out.